Welcome to our first ever nightly show. My name is Emily and I will be starting you off with some announcements for the week. Our first announcement is that there is going to be no school this Friday because of a teacher development day. So I hope you guys all enjoy your Friday off. We're also live streaming the soccer game this week at 6 o'clock on Thursday, so make sure you catch the game. Coming up next, we have two segments for you. The first segment is Mike Janice, our activity director, talking about COVID and how that's impacting fall sports. That segment was created by Gabriel Lovato. Our second segment is from John Fitch, and he's going to be teaching you how to make an apple pie. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe and healthy. So the Missouri State High School Activities Association is our governing body for high school sports. Um, schools become members. Um, basically, the reason why you become members is um, it's really by playing all by the same rules. So you have the National High School Federation, um, the NFHS, um, which governs all nationally, and then you have the, um, each state has their own organization. Um, so yeah, it's basically that, um, you know, we follow the rules. Um, member schools can uh, make suggestions um, and to create bylaws that, we've, that we follow. And so um, what they've been done lately is working with students that are gonna be in person, students that are gonna be virtual, schools that are gonna be virtual, schools that be in person. Um, and so our bylaws didn't necessarily afford students the chance to play sports. And um, MISHA had to do some changes to their bylaws for this upcoming season in order to give everyone an opportunity to participate. Mm -hmm. School districts still have a chance to um, opt out of that. Some school districts have a chance to um, move their fall season into the spring because they're all in person and um, you know, Misha is putting those things together right now. Right now, um, typically we would know like our district opponents at this point. Um, they're not being released till September 18th. We have guidelines that are set from our school district that we are using um, the St. Charles Health uh, Department guidelines, recommendations. We also have the National Federation, which I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and we also have MISHA. And so trying to put our guidelines in to make sure that we are staying in tune with all of those has been a challenging uh, you know, task for us to do. Um, so again, things are changing daily, but that's basically how we're, we're working through that. Hi guys, today we are going to be making apple pie. First off, let's get our ingredients together. We're going to need two store-bought pie crusts, six Granny Smith apples, uh, three fourths of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg ground, three fourths of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, the first thing that you wanna do before starting anything else after you're getting your greens is set the oven to 425. Once you're done cutting all of the apples, place them into a large mixing bowl, and then we can start to add our dry ingredients. So first, we're going to need two tablespoons, tablespoons of flour. One tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just going to use a fresh one here. First, roll it around. And then slice down the middle. Sugar, 
here, so I have a four. Yeah, there's extra. We're going to go on and crimp the edges. But after we do that, make sure it's still sealed. Is to cut a slit in the top of the pie so the seam can escape. And not so the pie will not blow up. And once that is done, your oven should be preheated. And it is time to put the pie in the oven. Make sure halfway through baking that you cover the edges of the pie with tin foil so they don't get too brown. Once you finish wrapping the exterior crust, it should look like this. And then put it in for the remainder half of the time. Once the timer goes off, you can pull the pie from the oven. It should be looking brown when you insert a knife should come out clean. Slice up and share with friends. Mm -hmm. 